Hello, Captains. It's the Doctor. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online, Rami Summers Free-to-Play Edition. We are continuing the Romulan story arc, Romulan mystery. We are getting very near the end of it. And at that point, we will be able to get our new ship, which I'm quite excited about. We're already level 39, so we will be level 40, which is Rear Admiral Lower Half, pretty soon. But anyway, let's get on with the show. This is Coliseum. Trapped on an alien world, you will be forced to fight to survive. My contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tal Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand why the Federation would hesitate to engage them directly. So today I appeal to you, not as an ally in battle, but as a person of compassion. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopada system. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me, if you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? I can provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people. So this is an actual contact from Obasek, and he is asking us to help him for a change. So isn't that interesting? Also, whoever voices Obasek, what an awesome voice. I mean, that is a commanding voice right there. Go to the Nopata system, and we will get Riemann Covariant shields, which are quite nice shields, actually, and... Probably would be better than what I'm running now. What am I running now? Well, I've got a covariant shield. That's actually a really good shield. I think the Riemann shield might be just a tad bit better, but not much. We'll check that out anyway. Now, I also have a new weapon. I have this Romulan Disruptor Split Beam from the last mission. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on. This is a Mark III. Wow, that is old. And I am using this one, which I love, but it's a Mark IV. So let's put this Mark VIII on, and we'll have two options here on weaponry. And I'll use this Romulan Disruptor. That'll give us a chance to use something a little different for a change, and something a little better, too. Look at the DPS is a lot higher on this one, because it's Mark VIII versus Mark IV. So that'll be very cool as well. So now we got that. Okay, let's go to the Nopada system. This mission is kind of lengthy, so sit back and enjoy. This will be a kind of a long mission. Now, at captain level, which we are, we can use up to level 8 mark gear. So, some of the gear I've been using is actually quite outdated now. Like, I'm using Mark IV shields. Here's a Mark IV weapon. I was using Mark VI armor. No, seven armor. Mark um, IV kit. Boy, I really need to upgrade my kit. And my bridge officers especially are using old stuff, Mark V, Seven. So, yeah, I need to do a bit of updating them, especially when we hit 40, because we're going to have the next level, which is, if uh, this is Mark Eight, it'll be Mark Ten stuff we'll be able to use at level 40. So we're getting up there on what we are able to use and what I actually have equipped. But that's okay. Uh, so far, up to this level, up to 40, I've been okay with Mark 4, 5, or 6 gear, to be honest with you. But obviously, you could do better. I'm starting to finally build up some things I can sell for energy credits. I'm going to wait till I finish the Romulan Mystery to go back and sell everything. Right now, I don't have any. But um, I'm just building up everything to sell. I'll sell this stuff, get some energy credits. I have worked up a lot of dilithium. That's one thing I'm really surprised about so far. I've worked up a lot of dilithium. Just playing these missions, that's how much dilithium I've earned. That, in turn, can buy me weaponry. I'll just look real quick at the store, for example. Um, not so much here, I suppose, but... It can buy me reputation weaponry, but I don't have the... I don't, obviously, I don't have the reputation available to me yet, but once I unlock that and unlock some weapons in it, 
I would have access to some pretty good weaponry in there, and I've got the dilithium to buy it. Interesting. It's good to know that when it comes to in-game, I'll actually have some dilithium to use for a change. Previously, every time I played Star Trek Online, you never used to earn dilithium with missions, so you always had no dilithium at in-game. Now I'm finally going to have dilithium at in-game. That's a big plus. That's a big difference from how things used to be. That will help you when we get to level you know, 60. I'll be able to actually buy some good weaponry with that lithium. So that's nice. That's very nice. I'm liking how that's turning out. Okay, come on, load screen. There's only so much I can talk about during a load screen. <laughs> You're trying my patience right now. I don't know why sometimes things load so slow like that, but it does, and there you go. Captain, I'm not reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It's clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the composition of the debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but we'll need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are Thaleron weapons. Whoa, that's a very close view. <laughs> we were right up there. Before we head to the derelict hulk, let us take some hexafluorine gas. Yay, four hexafluorines. I see another one on the other side of that. So before we do what we need to do there, let's just kind of go around this thing because I know what it's going to do. <laughs> and uh, let's go over here and take some magnesite ore. Yay, us. Okay, now let's head back around and do what we're supposed to do. I've got my gases for today. I'm all gaseous. Scan ship. Let's come to a stop. Captain, I'm not detecting... I'm not detecting the vessel that Obasek sent us to find, but all of the ships in this debris field show signs of being affected by the same thing, a high-frequency energy beam that overloads all their systems. If the Riemann's ship was hit by that beam, it might have crashed into the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere else in the system. I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite. If the Riemann crew detected them as well, they could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. We'll need to be closer before I can attempt an uplink with satellite's communication array. Warning. Oh Ship snap! Under attack. It's doing a thing. Captain, we're stuck. <laughs> this beam is holding us like a fly in a spider's web. We've managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but almost everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines, nothing works. I'm not detecting any life signs on the satellite, sir, but there is a compartment with life support. The system operating the beam must be automated. The chief says we have enough power in the backups for one transport. Recommend we send a team over uh, to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. Indeed. Now we are on the satellite. Captain, the consoles here appear to control the beam that is draining power from the little ship. But there is a security lock preventing access. We need to find a usable computer. Find a way to access the computers, which is over here. We have to solve a little puzzle. This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought that the console used for inventory control was important. I think I can access a backdoor into the rest of the satellite's programs from here. I see the problem. The Romulan consoles are causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processors to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers which causes the processors to lock up. If we can solve these equations and input the correct information directly into the console, the security lock on the control should be released. I've downloaded the corrupted equations onto this console for you to work on. Now, when I first did this, I really did bring out a calculator, no joke. But there's an easier way to do this, and that's just to cycle until you find the right number. Like so. <laughs> 
So it doesn't take too long. Just keep cycling until you find a position. Until it lights up green. Unless you have this memorized, in which case that's even easier. I used to have this memorized at one time because I did it so much, but not anymore. There we go. Captain, we've solved the equations that were causing issues in the other consoles. Now I need to plug these correct values into the console controlling the security lock, and then we should be able to access the satellite's major operations. I think we have to go around here to do that. Oh, let's take this. Okay, yeah, input the code, great. Access the controls. Yes, now we have access. Okay, um, first we need to access long range scanners, extend the range, open ship identification program, reclassify derelict Hulk is active, uh, access targeting control, and Designate derelict Hulk. Hulk is priority target. There we go. Okay, so we've changed the primary target. Captain, the satellite has ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. Its stronghold on it is, us is weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we still don't have weapons or long-range communications. So that's the first step. Now we got to go do other things too. We'll go to this one next. Input code. Okay, access power. Yes, no, I said access power. Okay, it controls the satellite's power supply. Update power save modes, load power save economical. Set process priority to factory defaults. Ta-da! Captain, we found that if the little ship does not attempt to move or fire at the satellite, then it will engage a low power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like an energy saving mode. We can use that to our advantage. At least we won't have to worry about life support. We'll hold the ship stable and keep working on boosting power to critical systems while you try to disrupt the functions. Yep, I've already done that. I have done two of those things. Now the last one. Input the code. Access it. This console controls the satellite's general operations. We're going to change the operational state to um, off. Ta-da! Captain, systems are coming back online all over the ship. We have weapons, shields, and even the replicators are working again. Transporters are standing by, sir. We can beam you back as soon as you're ready. Excellent. Let's get off the satellite. Oh snap, this is not our ship. Where am I? This does not look like our ship at all. No, indeed. I am in a cage. Now what? If you fail to comply with commands, you will be punished. Hi, friend? Prisoner? Get a melee weapon. Well, I'm apparently on the planet, and I am being held as a prisoner. Let's pick up a melee weapon. Let's get a, uh, let's get a sword. We need to equip our sword. I know we just put our brand new weapon on, but it's not going to matter right now. So let's switch over to a sword. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Enter the arena. I'm really holding that sword oddly, but okay. Commencing test one. No 
Pod in Desert Akari entering testing area. Yeah, pod in Desert Akari doesn't sound like I want one. Enemy targets on sensors. Yeah, they're fighting this prisoner over here. Okay. And slash and bash him. Commencing. That was easy. <laughs> Releasing Warrigals now. Warrigals. Okay, a little tougher. They come running at you. Well, they're not even Enemy touching me. They're messing sensors. with him. Flanking damage detected. Proceeding to test three. The <laughs> Amugato? You mean to say? You didn't even say it. Oh boy, he's got him pinned down. Give me a combo, come on. There we go. Prisoner 1478, oh. remain in the area for interrogation. Prisoners return to holding area. Failure to comply will result in punishment. Well, before I do that, I'm just going to take this. Don't mind me. That looks painful. That guy looks dead. I can still use my triple. I can use my horda, but it won't help me fight. Okay. Now wait to be let out. La -da 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 -da. I got nothing to do but run back and forth. Ah, talk to Slamek who just beamed in. Leave me alone. Slamek, how did you get here? Oh yeah, he was in Installation 18. I remember you as well. It seems your prison break, however well-intentioned, just ended up the same way. It's enough to make me think that I keep picking the wrong side. After escaping the installation, I joined up with a freighter. We were passing near the system when we were snared by a satellite and drifted into the planet's atmosphere. The ship crashed, and even though I activated an emergency transponder to beam several of us to the planet's surface, we were captured almost immediately by a group of soldiers. Since then, I've been stuck in this cage, watching my former crewmates fight and die in this arena. Now I'm the only one left alive. That is all I know. Um, <clears throat> what kind of soldiers? It is too bright here. I don't know who is responsible for this place. The trainers and guards all, dis all appear to be mercenaries without any clue what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whomever it was took care to conceal his identity. Any ideas what they want with us? I tire of this life. I have no idea what they want with us or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game, but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Am I the only person you've been paired with so far? I've had several partners in my battles. You're the only one about which I have been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Are we the only ones here? I have lost everything. I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. Is there any way out of here? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. Do you think we can get one of those cards? Can I trust you? Yes. <laughs> I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum, and during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Okay, let's get out of here. Sounds, uh, if uh, Admiral Akbar was here right now, he would be saying, It's a trap! Okay, now I just got to wait. If you fail to comply with commands, you will be punished. Or it's a tarp. Either way you look at it. Could be a tarp. That's what we need, It's a tarp. Return to the arena. Fight some more. 
Fight to win. Fight to win. Better than pay to win, I guess. Test scenario four activated. A Ahala released. Okay, let's defeat the worm thing. Damn it. Uh, tell you what, if I put this in shooter mode, that's actually easier to melee with because I can just use the mouse and do this and slash and slash and slash and I can do, hopefully I can do combos. I'm not very good at combos. Where'd you go? Oh snap. Is it the big one? Yeah, it is. It doesn't like that. Yeah, so a little hint there. Um, go into shooter mode for melee, and it's so easy with the mouse. You can go whack, 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 whack them. I want to do that spinny kick slash thing. I can do it with the manual keys, but I can't do it with the mouse. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. That's the combo I wanted. How did I do that? I need to repeat that. That wasn't it. Did I get them all? Yeah, I got them all, except for that one. I'm working on it. Okay. Um, more eye hollas. I guess I don't do that yet. Oh crap, I died. Oh man, I wasn't even watching my health. Maybe I need to watch my health. I need to free the rest of the prisoners anyway, so let's do that first. Now here's something cool. With these prisoners freed, uh, step right in here and you will find a, a weapon rack, or maybe it's in the other other side. No, it's here. And uh, you can get some weapons. I got a... See, I got a Mark 8. I just got a Mark 8 Falchion with crit D and damage. So do that and you get a better weapon. Let's equip the better weapon for right now. There we go. Now I got a rare weapon. It's better than what I was using. Let's go ahead and take this Z particle. All right, there we go. Now we can come back out here and defeat the worm. Hi, worm. Did y'all defeat the little worms? I guess you did. All the prisoners are dead. That's neat. All right, now let's defeat this big worm. And dead. Hi. You can go inside it. Did y'all know that? Watch this. <gasps> I'm inside the worm. No. Okay. Let's get out of here.
Oh, look at that. It's an Iconian gateway. Who would have who would have thought? Oh, let's turn off the dampening field. This will allow us to use our weapons. Now, what I'm going to do is switch back and put that there. Don't want to melee anymore. Now I got that weapon I can use. Ta-da. Let's check out this stuff. It appears as if whomever created this laboratory has rigged controls to an Iconian gateway. You might be able to pull some information off the logs. Yes. Our master's patience wears thin, Hakeev. The time grows short, and still you have not provided all the species data that they require. Are you having trouble acquiring targets? I provided you with the necessary technology to modify the satellite in the Nopata system, but your little snare is slow. What we need is more test subjects. Perhaps a small colony would be enough. I will contact you again to work out the details. Let's get more. Access transporter log. Nopata Base Delta, IRW Alea Vol, Brea 3, Dara 4, Hifar Listening Post Gamma. That must be where this portal goes. Access controls, biometric signature mismatch, access denied, gateway shut down in 10 seconds. Okay, we can't use it, but there it is. An Iconian gateway. Not good. Okay, let's check this console. Project Decimation. New subject. Captain Rami Summers. Rami Summers. <laughs> Captured from the USS Little Ship. Initial analysis. Subject's threat level is high, and risk of escape or intervention in testing is elevated. Notify Colonel Hakeem and escalate to level 6 trials. Well, they didn't do a good job trying to um, keep me in the cell, did they? Access test parameters. Project goal to develop a matrix of alpha quadrant species. We must determine which species can be pitted against one another for maximum devastating effects. Tests will not be limited to sentient species, as the Iconians have technology that will allow us to effectively introduce new flora and fauna to alien worlds. Okay, access research observations. Honored Master, it will take some time to complete my report, but I have a few personal observations for you that may prove useful. Please consider them when you make your plans. Humans and Klingons show the greatest proclivity toward fighting when there is no chance of victory. Breaking a Vulcan's emotional control will usually render him helpless. They have no ability to process the emotions that they so zealously suppress. Bajorans will fight to the death to defend homes or loved ones, but they may reject a fight that doesn't threaten what they hold dear. Betazoids will detect betrayal almost instantly, but their telepathic senses can be overwhelmed by extreme pain or violent thoughts. This can allow an infiltrator to escape their notice. Woo. Possible wedge to break the Klingon Empire may be the Gorn. More than 77% of Gorn captives choose to help another Gorn before assisting a Klingon, even if that choice resulted in the death of the Klingon. Herogen are formidable in single combat, but their fractured society reduces their threat level significantly. I have been unable to separate a Trill symbiote from its host for separate study. Two attempts to implant a symbiote in a host from another species have failed. Both the symbiote and the host died within hours. Undine are quite interesting. I request more time to study this race in greater detail. Hmm, okay. Um, access records for prisoner 1478. Captured along with a small group of Riemann soldiers by the Desert Patrol. Interrogation inconclusive. Recommended use of holographic conditioning. Single combat test. Subject was wounded on four occasions but survived all tests. Recommendation. Prisoner 1478 may be a suitable subject for team testing or altern alternative study. Forward data to Colonel, Colonel Haki for evaluation. They've contacted me again. My associates have two tasks for me now. First is the destruction of the Remans. I understand their anger. The Remans are attempting to rise above their station. They're mindless slaves, and they need to respect their betters. Taurus was able to control them. After Starfleet captured her, their surviving Remans developed delusions of self-worth. This troublemaker who calls himself Obasek, who is he to tell them that they can be free? Does a beast of burden have the right to choose its own destiny? If the problem were not so irksome, it would be almost comical. I will present Obasek's broken corpse to the Iconians in tribute. They will reward me richly for my loyalty. I doubt that. The second task will take more effort. The Iconians want data. They want the species of the Alpha Quadrant tested until they break. They want to know their weaknesses and how to exploit them. They want to see their strengths and know how to destroy them. I will admit that I take no little pleasure in this task. It will be quite entertaining to make some of those self-righteous humans turn on one another or push one of those blustering braggarts from Kronos until he begs for death. 
O and the Vulcans. I will make Vulcans weep and I will savor each tear. Oh my gosh. I know of an abandoned Colosseum in the Nopata system. We can find a way to lure test subjects there. It will take time and effort, but I am confident I can do what the Iconians want. So, yeah. Not good stuff. This is a training facility to find our weaknesses for the Iconians. Wow. Let's get out of here. It is too bright here. Watch out. There are Romulan Scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. <laughs> Run away from the arena. I like that goal. Yep, there's the over there. I'm surprised they don't see me. There's a fighter heading straight for us. Quick, take, take, take cover in those dark rocks. Sure. Stay still. Oh, I see. It's coming real low. And wait for the fighter to pass overhead. If we are fortunate, they won't detect us. I guess they didn't see us. That one's too high. Okay. Continue on our journey through this desert. Find a place for Slomic to rest. Oh, Slomic. He has to rest. Poor Slomic is injured. Find a way to treat Slomic. Find a disinfectant. I tire of this life. Forgive me, my friend, but the pain. I need to rest just for a moment. My wounds, it is agony. I fear that the worm's venom may have infected me. The pain is excruciating. My vision is blurred and my blood burns in my veins. Before we were captured, my science officer said that the local plants here had medicinal qualities. Please, I need your help. Find something to ease my suffering. I need something to disinfect my wound, something to treat my fever, and anything that will ease my pain. Thank you, my friend. I know that I would have died today if it weren't for you. Now I gotta be a nurse to Slomic. Isn't that great? This plant has analgesic qualities and won't be as strong, but it'll work, blah, blah, blah. So let's take it. Another plant that will help us, basically. Uh, and there should be one more. I think we have to, like, travel far away to get all of these, but... I want to find that third one first. Where is it at? So I can at least scan it. Oh, there it is. And this one. Okay, so we need one of those, two of those, and three of those. And I know that it's this way. These are far away. A lot of running in this mission. That's what you can expect. Okay, I got one of them. Got one of them. Got one of them. Now we need to go way up here for these other ones. Okay, that's one. I need two. Now I gotta run all the way to the other opposite side to get the other one. Yep, a lot of running. Slomic does not deserve this much running and you'll find out why soon. Now this mission also has career specific duties, so there's a science and engineering and a tactical job we'll have to do later on, depending on what career type you are, they're different. Here's the last one.
Now, we gotta head all the way back and treat Slomach. Alright, come it on. It is too bright. There we go. Head to the canyon entrance. Alright, now we're in here. This will be, uh, this will hide us, basically. More running, of course, all the way to the end. There are some some sealit cats. Let's take care of them with my new weapon. There we go. That weapon is quite nice. Like I said, lots of running. It's a pretty map though. Nighttime. Not many nighttime maps in this game. Yep, lots more running. Okay, now Hakeev has something to say. I mean, Hakeev, Slavnik has something to say. I have lost everything. The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge the provisions to create a camp, then we will have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. The temperature is dropping. If we don't find warmth, we risk hypothermia. We can't use a phaser on the rocks here to heat them. They are too porous. We will need firewood. Look at the dry plants. If we can collect tinder, kindling, and logs, we will be able to create a fire that will last through the night. So this is our tactical option. If you were engineering, it'd be different, or science would be different. Science is find water. Engineering, I believe, is uh, find meat. And uh, this one is build a fire. Tactical, so we need to collect tinder, kindling, collect fuel. Fuel wood. And uh, it's been a long time since I've done this one, actually, because it's been a long time since I played as a tactical character. I'm just going to follow where the green circles are. That's typically the best thing to do. Don't need my gun. Let's put that away. Let's go up here and see what this is. This is wood. Okay, if you say so. Well, it's kind of some kind of weird wood. Um, what else do we need? So we've got the kindling. We need tender. And then fuel wood. Whatever fuel wood is. Is that wood with fuel built in? Because that's kind of convenient. Some kind of weird alien uh, tender. 
Nope, that was fuel wood, actually. Okay, take that back. Well, that's weird. Don't know what it is, but we got it. Now let's get the tender. Alien stuff. That looks more like wood to me. Okay. Anyway, accolade complete. Fueling friendship. Friendship. Now we actually need to go camp out in the cave. We're going to have a camp out. Get all cozy and snuggly. With our fire. Our warm fire. Islamic isn't exactly the um, roommate I would like to have for the night, but choices are limited. Oh, look at that. He already built the fire for us. We should have gone deeper into the cave, no? <laughs> All right. Now we just wait till morning. I'm gonna sit there by the fire and look, here we go, the other side. It's daytime again. All right, we need to find Slomik's ship, which won't be too hard, to be honest with you. Because once we get past these rocks, you'll see it's right there. Ah, there's his ship. Still smoking, which is odd, but there you go. Um, now, normally you're supposed to go that way, but I just uh, take a dive, jump in the river, or water, or whatever. Whee! That's the easy way down. I don't think Slum, no, he'll, he'll run all the way around. He won't jump. <laughs> but I'll jump. I got here quicker. Okay, look for a way to contact your ship. Oh, weird glitch. There is no way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage done by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. If the emergency distress beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash, it's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like the Singularity Drive and the cargo bays. You do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. If you had the right components, you you think you could construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are, but it should do the trick. I need to go find things. Basically. Put together a subspace transmitter thingy-majig. glowy thing is right there. That's weird. Yay, I found a communications array. How convenient. Just what I needed. Here's something shiny. Subspace distortion inverter. Perfect. And a navigation beacon. How lucky. Now we need to put the beacon on the ship and do a thing with a thing and make it do something. Do a boopity boppity. Hippity hoppity. Get it going. Let's do it. Yay! Wait for the rescue outside. I'm so excited. We're gonna get rescued. Here we go. Oh, snap. That ain't good. Those are Romulans. This is not a happy day. And it's Hakiv. Did you think you could run? From me? 
There is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, uh, take your snap. place. He's a spy. You did your job admirably. Should've known. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dara system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You could have been such a fascinating test subject, but this time, no. This time I think a more direct approach is best. Oh, really? Ready? Aim? Uh-oh. Yay! No! I beamed out. Okay. To tell Obasek we had um, a problem. I apologize for Slamik's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopata system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Yep. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The, the demons, demons of air, air and darkness, and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. All this time, Obasek knew the truth. He knew the Iconians were coming before anybody. You know, we were blind to it, but he knew it. He knew it. Riemann prototype covariant shield. We should have listened to him. Look at that. The stats are exactly the same of what I'm ha what I have right now. I mean, to the decimal. That is just stupid crazy. Congratulations, Admiral. Well, there we go. I am now Rear Admiral Lower Half 40. So, I mean, we can do the promotion Rear Admiral Lower Half, but I'm not yet going to do it. I could, but I'm not. Because um, we are so close to the last... Well, this the next mission is the last mission. We've got cutting the cord next and that is the last mission of the excuse me of the Romulan mystery this little thing here darkness before the dawn not so much a mission as just wrapping up the storyline it gives you some dialogue to go over but it's not a mission per se gives you a little bit of skill points but not not as much as a mission so really the last mission in this is cutting the cord so that's it so i'm not going to level up to rear admiral lower half yet until i do cutting the cord after cutting the cord in darkness before the dawn i'm going to do those two and the next video be both of them and then the next video after that will be our promotion to level 40 and getting our new ship and all that stuff so i'm going to wait Let's finish the Romulan mystery here, because we're right at the end of this. And then when we start the Cardassian storyline, we will have our brand new ship ready to go. Okay, next bit of business is the shield we just got. Now, this is a nice shield. Uh, unfortunately for me, I've already got a nice shield. I had a covariant shield array mark 8 cap times 2 that I put on here. Well, that apparently is the same specs as a Riemann prototype covariant shield array Mark VIII. So, there's literally no point in putting this on my ship ex except to change the visuals on it. Watch this. Yep. There's a visual effect that this shield has. That looks really cool. It's that Riemann, Riemann look to it. So, just for that visual alone, I will leave the shield on there. Because the stats are the same, so we didn't gain anything in terms of stats, but we at least have a different visual now, which is just shakes it up. It's something a little different for the time being. And I'm just going to leave everything else as it is because um, we're not going to upgrade equipment and everything until the next ship. And I will sell all this stuff at that point, too. Hopefully I'll get some good money back for that covariant shield. Um... So I'm going to do all that later. Now in the next mission, we have 
and I haven't used these yet. We've got the scorpion fighters ready to go, and there is a big battle at the end of the next mission in space. So I think we're going to get a chance to finally use our scorpion fighters, some of our scorpion fighters, which will be nice. So I'll show you that. But anyway, that was Colosseum, a very cool mission. Uh, very different, very fun, very, pretty long, but pretty fun. And then the next one will be cutting the cord. So thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next. Yeah.